want to find the pH of a 0.0150 molar acetic acid solution. So I know that for pH I need a hydronium ion. And the only way I can get a hydronium ion from acetic acid is to write a reaction. So you guessed it, we're going to use the Rice method. So first I need to write down the reaction. So I have acetic acid. Remember, if you don't remember what it is, make sure you look up your polyatomic ion, add the H, make sure the charges balance. And it's in a solution, so that means it's in water. It's at equilibrium. That means the water is going to donate a proton, so it becomes the hydronium ion. We're going to lose a proton from the acid just to get the ion. So that's our equation. Now, I is our initial concentration. Well, the only initial concentration I was given was what? For the acetic acid. So this is 0 0.0150. Water's a liquid, so we don't care about it. There was no hydronium and no anion. So the C is the change. So I'm going to have to lose part of this, so it's a minus X. That means on the other side it has to be a plus X and a plus X. And then I need to know how to find it at equilibrium. So remember for equilibrium you're going to add straight down. So I'm going to get 0 0.0150 minus X. Over here I just get X and I get X. So first things I need to do is what? Well I need to uh, use the Ka value, right? Because this is an acid. So K sub A equals, and it's the products over the reactant. So I've got the hydronium ion times the acetate ion all over the concentration of acetic acid. Now to find Ka you look that up in the table in your book and when I did that I got 1.8 times 10 to the minus fifth. Some of you may have that memorized from doing acetic acid, acid a lot but you never know. And I've got the hydronium is an X and an X, so I'm going to have X times X over. And I'd really like to approximate, so I've got 0 0.0150 minus X. So then I would simplify this, so this would be approximately X squared over 0 0.0150. So I'm going to cross multiply and set equal, so cross multiply. and then I'm going to set that equal to x squared. And then to find what x is, I need to take the square root of both sides. So on the left-hand side, I get 5.19615 times 10 to the minus fourth, and that's going to equal to x. Now how do I check to make sure that that's legal, that I went ahead and made the approximation? Well, I take the number that I just got, so the 5.19615 times 10 to the minus fourth, divided by the concentration, which was 0 0.0150 times 100. And when I do that, I get 3.46%, which is less than 5%, so it was okay for me to make that call. But it doesn't want the hydronium ion, right? It wants the actual pH. So in order to find the pH, I have to take the negative log of the hydronium concentration. And remember, that's what we just found in X. So this is going to equal to the negative log of that big long number, which is 5.19615 times 10 to the minus fourth. And when I put that in my handy dandy little calculator, remember since it's pH, we're going to have to have two significant figures after the decimal. So I'm going to get the pH equals 3.28.